Hello everyone, thank you so much for your concern, your emails and your messages. I'm humbled. For those of you who do not follow the community page or uh, social media, I just wanted to let you know that I'm okay. So are my family, my friends, my dogs, my kittens. We live in the city, so we were nowhere near the fire. All the rescuers and the rescued animals that you have met in the channel are also fine. They were never in any danger. Um, Greece made headlines again. The wildfires made world news. And whenever anything Greek goes viral, it's never about something positive or something good. It's always about a tragedy of some sort. What happened here happens every year, right in the heart of the summer, after months of rainless heat that have dried everything. With the first strong winds that blow, there are fires that spread uncontrollably, destroying everything, forests and homes and taking innocent lives. Um, what made it very tragic this year was the number of lives that were lost unnecessarily. People and animals that were trapped, they were caught in the fire, they tried to make it, make it to the sea but they reached a dead end. Um, it was tragic and um, the ones responsible will never be brought to justice because they never are uh, here. On top of it all, today it rained and now we are flooded, which makes the rescue missions even more impossible. Anyway, uh, concerning the animals, uh, volunteers are trying to do the best they can. Um, there are dogs and cats, strays or lost pets that were caught in the fire that are found with burnt fur and burnt paws and in shop they are being transferred to clinics. Um, there are pet dogs that were left chained inside yards while their owners fled <laughs> to save themselves. One of them, for example, was found locked inside a chicken coop. Um, everyone is trying to offer some kind of help. There are vet clinics that have opened their doors and they are uh, treating all those animals for free. There are Facebook groups that are dedicated only to lost and found pets. Um, we're still all in, in shock here and everything is still a bit chaotic because it's very recent. A lot of you are asking how to help if you live in Greece. You can donate items like blankets, towels, sheets, training mats, IVs, medicine, antibiotics, eye drops, bandages, gauzes and of course food. Uh, foster homes are needed for all those animals that survived and as uh, the animals from the clinics are recovering, more foster homes will be needed in the future. And of course there are groups of, volunte of volunteers who are scouring the areas looking for trapped animals. You can also join in. Um, of course you can also donate and especially if you live abroad, I'm guessing that's uh, all you can do. So I'm posting two links in the description below. One is of Anima, it's the rescue organization that is taking in all the wild animals that were rescued from the fires. And the other one is of Penny Marathon. Other strategy when it comes to donations is a long term one and it's a much needed one because judging from experience in disasters like this one after the, the, the public interest and the media interest subsides, the burden is carried by the committed few. Um, I will be updating those links in the next few days. Everything is still very recent and very fluid. Thank you.